Skywatch Media News for August the 21st, 2021. There is a known wobble in the moon's orbit which could fuel a tremendous surge in ocean tides, leading to record flooding along the Earth's coastlines in the coming years. In a study conducted by the University of Hawaii, changes now taking place in the moon's orbit around the Earth will lead to an unprecedented tidal surge along coasts from New York to Shanghai. The results of the study, which were published in the Nature Scientific Journal, indicate that the defined wobble in the moon's orbit is part of an 18.6-year cycle recorded as far back as the year 1728. The cycle is divided into opposing halves. During half of that cycle, the moon creates lower high tides as well as higher low tides, whereas the other half creates higher high tides and even lower low tides. The so-called lunar nodal cycle is expected to peak near the year 2035, which will occur around the time frame where sea levels are predicted to rise by about 3 inches. The combined effort of the sea level rise and the moon's wobble could leave coastal communities at odds with nature, where we could see a total sea level increase of 4 inches by the year 2035. It is anticipated that the cycle will impact high tides along the world's coastlines, where tidal ranges can vary anywhere from 0 to 52 feet, depending on the volume of water adjacent to the coast. The cycle's effect during the high tides could add an extra 50 to 60 centimeter rise above the daily average, which means that smaller tidal basins located near coastal communities that would normally have lower high tides would suddenly experience higher than normal tides and would therefore be subject to nuisance flooding. NASA has indicated that in half of the moon's 18.6 year cycle, Earth's daily tides are suppressed, so the high tides can often be lower than normal and the low tides would be higher. In the other half, the tides are amplified. The high tides become higher and the low tides get even lower. So when the sea level rises, the high tides will obviously move in only one direction. They become higher. Another way of looking at the 18.6 year cycle is that it both counteracts and increases the effect of sea level rise on high tides. The combination of the moon's orbit wobble and the rising sea levels become a double whammy with significant implications for coastal communities all across the globe. What this is telling us is that we must adapt to the changes that are taking place and discover new methods of fortifying shorelines. In essence, we must plan for more extreme flooding in our future, especially in low-lying areas which are the most vulnerable. If we consider the combination of the moon's gravitational pull, coupled with rising tides and our changing climate, we no doubt see a scenario where these forces of nature will exacerbate coastal flooding around the world. We do not have to venture too far into our past to understand the effects of flooding on people's livelihoods. We have seen or witnessed it all too many times in recent years. The last time that the moon's orbit exacerbated tidal flooding was in September of the year 2015, when many places along England's coastline experienced a tidal surge as a result of astronomical factors. The flooding caused by a supertide occurred at a point in the 18.6 year cycle when the moon's orbit came closest to the plane of Earth's equator. At this point, several astronomical forces aligned to amplify the lows of low tides and the highs of high tide, of which the latter can cause problematic flooding. The NOAA recorded more than 600 tidal floods along the U.S. Atlantic and Gulf coasts in the year 2019 when the amplification effect of the moon's orbit was less than it was in the year 2015. As I stated earlier, 
The next amplification effect of the nodal cycle is expected to be at its strongest in the 2030s, near mid-decade, which places it in line with scientific predictions of record sea level rise. The moon's wobble is but another chapter in a series of troubling events affecting life on Earth at the present time. The combined effects of astronomical and oceanic phenomena should not be underestimated. It is expected that the wobble will cause an increase in catastrophic floods on nearly all U.S. mainland coastlines, including Hawaii, and its effects will be felt well into the next decade. If there is one silver lining amongst the disheartening news, it would be this. According to the report, the far northern coastlines, which include Alaska, will fare much better since their land areas are rising due to long-term geological processes. But for the rest of us here on the mainland, the best we can hope for is to plan and prepare not only for the expected situations, but also for those that are unforeseen. The fires along the west coast and up through the Pacific Northwest are nothing short of apocalyptic. In British Columbia, uncontrollable flames are barreling towards entire communities. Thousands of people have fled their homes as evacuation orders come down one after another. As of this moment, there are more than a dozen fires in the Kamloops Fire Center District, as a dark red sky engulfed the region in mid-afternoon, blocking out the sun in its entirety. Reports from eyewitnesses describe a surreal scene, like nothing ever seen before. Fire was moving in all directions like a burning snake. The fire first surrounded and then engulfed community homes and businesses. As of August the 21st, evacuation centers have been set up throughout the province for all those forced to flee their homes. There are nearly 270 active wildfires burning across British Columbia, 85 of which are out of control. Due to incessant heat and high winds, the fires have worsened. Since April the 1st, a total of 1,513 wildfires have burned nearly 2 million acres of valuable land. These figures are presently seven times greater than the 10-year average. Here's how the wildfires looked on the road in British Columbia and from space via the International Space Station's video feed on August the 15th. Stay safe, everyone. Thanks for watching, and always keep looking to the sky.